Dragon Strike. Another one down, Dragon Strike. Gonna be rolling through to point, see where it's going, but now the Blizzard's gonna be tossed in by DQ as he wraps around the side, but soon, man, he's a cut hit down, just like that Shadowbreak comes up with two. Soon gets Sano, they get the pop out here. Poco will get finished off, and the flip will come in, Paris Eternal, gaining control as Fusion into the five. Really nice fortify there from Cloudy. To make sure. Trying to keep himself safe. Heroes coming in. Neptuno got tagged up and Suit was able to find that final shot. They go ahead and finish off that enemy Lucio, but Poco answers back with a bomb. Gets rid of Cloudy, gets rid of that supercharger. A lot more limited damage now on the side of the Paris Eternals. They try to close this one out at 99%. Carpenter with a poison trap will finish off Shadow Burn as EQO plays forward. Gets the freeze here on the Finzi's mech. Will be able to knock him out. And now he's still just holding on to that blizzard for the next recontest for Paris. Despite soon having better life sight throughout that fight, he's just not able to have the impact he's looking for. And Fusion will win this fight. Wrapping around, Cloudy tagging in on the corner. Barrier thrown down. Shadow Burn going low, pushes out, manages to get that mega pack. Now the Nano gonna be thrown down here on the Finzi, but Gray to be taken out. EQO comes up huge with a pick here onto the Honest, and now that healing gonna be limited. EQO will be taken down. So we're opening up opportunities here for the rest of the squad. Finzi goes up into the air, drops the bomb. Carpe, side from some baby diva, and all that Finzi can get is one measly kill on Tosato. That will be the close out 199. It doesn't get them much yet. He up over the top, however, gets a nice back angle on the Finzi. Can he de mech him? Yes, he does. Just wasn't ready for it. Didn't respond fast enough to turn around with the D Matrix, so just loses out on that one instantly. Carpe. Gonna keep playing up here on the high ground, dropping back in. Still holds on to the right form. Will now use it as he goes low. Nearly taken down Shadowburn. Right back into the fight, though, and it's just a slaughter on the other side. Paris need to be a little bit more aware of where Carpe is. It's a lack of awareness that loses Fenzi his mech. It's a lack of awareness that you know, prevents them from contesting when he drops down a second time. Into that far off. The Paris Eternal still need to find this clip, but they need to find it right now. OT gonna start leading away very rapidly. Fenzi gets knocked into the mech, as does Poco, but now Gray gonna be gone. So down a support. Crew's still hovering with that Valkyrie, trying to stay alive as soon. Comes up on top of Carpe with that Tracer 1v1. Cloudy will knock Neptuno off, grappling his way through. Paris Eternal do have that flip, but can they hold on to this? Can they maintain control? Shadowburn and Hugo both now have swapped over onto the Doomfist, but Shadowburn, he is cornered. He gets a little bit of shielding, but Sato's got so much more help, so many more bullets to take him down. Fusion should just regroup at this point. Well, they might not have to, because now soon going to be eliminated as well. No DPS available for the side of the Paris Eternal. This is chaos. Nano boost getting ready to become available here from Gray, but is it going to be enough for them to actually hold on to this one? Maybe so. It's not this get taken down, now Duno gonna be gone again. Cloudy taking him out using that grapple hook. This Comes is... up with yet another kill onto the enemy, Lucio. Please disruption, pulse bomb in, EQO gonna be taken down. Pile Driver's there, doesn't find any targets, but does not matter, the Paris Eternal have actually held them back. The EQO was waiting in the ice block, pops up, tries to get the freeze, is unable to do so. Shadowbird's gonna be shielded by Cruz's sound barrier. Bunch unable to find anything. Two members down right now are the Philadelphia Fusion. As the Paris Eternal looking to take us to a third and final round of Ilios. Bomb up over the top from Poco. Not going to be able to find any picks. Fusion need to get some heals through right here, right now, as Sato is still sitting. And a sliver on his wrecking ball. Poco with the bomb does actually manage to knock Vinci out, but he's going to be losing his mech as well. Maybe Diva going to be finished off on the side of the Paris Eternal. Pile Driver in the back. We can finish off them too. But Cloudy going to be frozen up right into the minefield and taken down. It's an exchange on the wrecking balls. Now Poco going to be eliminated as well. The front lines of both teams absolutely dismembered. The Paris Eternal try to close this one out as a fusion desperately trying to get this foot back in. EQO falls down 15 HP, but it's not going to happen. But it doesn't matter. They can't get the kill, but they can't tag the point. Ultimate. We will now take a look now that we have a visual on how this went wrong here on the final touch. Everybody's condensed in that one corner. It's a punch here. <laughs> as soon as Shadowburn arrives, everyone tries to peel for the May. And that's just it. They hold their ultimates, but they're going to have to use them to approach. They have to use them first. Yeah, lacking that sound barrier as well, but soon goes in. That boss comes out, Carpe TP through. Looking for one of his own, looking for the setup. The Matrix is there. Just the one kill coming through, but it's actually going to be both Moira's taken now, down now. As well, Cloudy and Shadowburn. Eliminated as the fusion will be able to hold on to the point for Shadowburn. Not gonna happen yet. Still playing around the side, and oh man, he uses the ult. The Carpe instantly takes him down. The Blizzard is lost. Paris Eternal now, their hopes of flipping this one. They're still gonna be committing forward with that sound barrier from Cruz, who just managed to come up with the kill on Asano. The bomb from Poco gets rid of soon. Now the damage completely out of the fight. Cloudy left out to try. It'll just be the eliminations coming in. Paris Eternal. 
They've shown their hand. They have a coalescence coming up, but that's going to be about that it. He's going to have to tag in it soon. Going into the back, and as soon as he comes out of the raid form, he does get taken down. Blizzard thrown in. EQL freezing everybody up. They have that Death Blossom just for good measure. Perhaps we'll see it in celebration, but no, we will not. Carpet is going to hold that one to the very end. A close one, but the Billy Fusion come out on top on Ilios. They start the series 1-0. Very impressive to see them come back in such ult-efficient fashion. Right now playing right up to the front. EMP going to be coming through and Dre absolutely disappears. Did not have that transcending timing ready to go. QO falling low. Shadow Burn trying to survive. The ducks around the corner gets a couple more shots in. He is still alive and in this fight he has that rip tire. This is the final one as Neptuno will get taken down. But now Cruz going to be trading it out. EQO slicing and dicing his way to kills. Comes up with two. We'll finish off with a melee hit there onto Finzi. And that will be the cap coming in onto point A. Carpe up here onto the high ground. Cloudy already going to be taken down, but Sato will fall as well. Great on those Orisas. Played out, looking for the kill here onto Soon, but the transcendence is there from Gray. Doesn't yeah, manage to keep alive. It's ready here. Yeah, there it is. Now going to be coming in. Soon striking first, finds four. Boombox barely surviving. Now the answering EMP comes in, only finds Finzi. So they do finish off, but is that going to keep them much on the point? So far, it's going to be a tick and a half. Shadowburn also gets taken down, but Cloudy coming back through. Manages to find Boombox, and they allow for Reza coming from Cruz, who then gets revenge on the Neptuno, pistoling him down. Finzi with a whole hog will zone the rest of them back. This ends up being a hold off the back of Cruz's double kill after the Rez. Really nice hog there from Finzi as well. Burn. Burn the here from the side. He's gonna be taken low, actually hacked out. Gonna make it into the ice block and will be taken down. Fox rejoining here in the center, going across the bridge now with the rest of the squad. Immortality Field's gonna be used, the blade coming in with an nano boost. He goes into the back, he's looking for a target. Finds a 15 first, but then takes down Gray. They're over on the point, already exceeding that previously established percentage. Now moving up, second tick gonna be snagged. They're over on to the point. They make their way through, and this will be an overtime finish, if I finish it all for the side of the Philadelphia Fusion. We'll see if they can pull that one off. Shadowbird coming in from the side, throws down the wall, gets a nano boost, drops in the blizzard to freeze them up. And a fortify there from Sato as he tries to stay alive. Tries not to get frozen, but Cloudy comes back in. He's for the both supports. And that will be the cleanup of the over the OT bleeding away. Carpe hovering nearby, but he's got no HP. Not worth the tag in. They will be held off. Okay. One more shot to finish up off. He's got that in for sight. He manages to find the shot. But can they still cap the point now? Because another bio need goes through. Cloudy pulled it on by a thread. Tries to stay alive. Another barrier comes down. q is still up there onto the high ground. He's only got a sliver of HP. Carpe going to be raised back in. Poison trap out from soon. Trying to cover his flank. He pushes down low. Trying to finish off the tank line here. Sano is by himself. Shadow Burn will get taken down, but they find the kills in the end. And that's going to be about four and a half minutes in the time bank for Paris Eternal to move over towards B. Back up on top. Dragon Strike is online. See the TP coming in from Carpe. Doesn't hold that arrow long enough. Falls low. Carpe, however, drops down right in front of him. Doesn't have to wraith out to safety. The bomb gets dropped in right at the entrance. Dragon going to be taken down. The Dragon Strike from Shadow Burn manages to find a baby diva, but it's still wildly going to be in favor of the fusion. We will go ahead and get a nice stagger here on the fins that you would expect. It's going to be very frustrating. It'll be frozen. Select moves back. So that Dragon Strike from Shadowburn was hoping to at least guarantee the kill on Loco and then help them get some extra space to push to further delay. It's looking really bad for Paris. QO actually going to get jumped on here, taken down very swiftly. Nano going to be thrown forward here onto Carpet. Flashbang comes in, still pushing forward. Looking to take down soon. Will be able to do so. Carpe is so the one man wrecking crew up with numerous kills and now with 30 seconds left. Paris Eternal, they gotta scramble. Wait, look at EQO, he's gonna ice them up. Now they're in the choke on the left side. Yep, three is coming in and Matrix gonna be thrown down. They are over onto the point. Back cap coming in at the moment from soon, but he himself is gonna be going low. This is the recall, drops down below. He's gained a tick for, him, for his squad. The rest of them are dying around him. Off the point, the bomb lands up top. The OT dwindles away. The Philadelphia Fusion will be able to take map two. Now to game point, one more map win. And they have secured their spot in the top 12 for playoffs and will have eliminated the Paris Eternal. If they want to keep their hopes alive, they got a reverse sweep. Well, the heal's coming through from Neptuno. He's trying to spy time here. Now Sato's back. Really slowly building there. The Dragon Strike coming through the doorway. Carpe, however, jumping through with that mana boost. Has to play back as the Bionate connects onto he and Sato. Will be safe for the moment. Charges up the next punch, but oh man, misses it. Akadi gets pushed out of the
the way by Sato. Now Poco could be knocked out of the fence by Shadowburn. Now the punch goes through. Cloudy this time will be taken down. But is that the cost of Neptuno? Gets hooked in and finished off with a combo out from Finzi. Sleep Dark connects. Carpe going low. Gets finished off. Shadowburn finds the Baby Diva. Nearly two ticks snacks here for the Fusion, but the Paris Eternal will be able to hold on. The composition the Fusion are running is not long-lasting. It doesn't have sustainability. To be honest, now they're going to have the Nano, but a lot of time has already been burned. Here comes the Engage. Yeah, Dive coming through, trying to push them off that high ground inside the cafe. EMP comes out. Managed to find several here on the side of the Paris Eternal. Soon is still holding on by a sliver of HP. Drop down into the back, finishes off Bruce. Punch coming in. He'll be connecting in with the limousine, keeping himself safe. Doesn't want to overcommit into Finzi, who can still pick him off as a Roadhog. And with a team grouped up, they will be able to go ahead and close that one out, get the cap onto point A. Already working his way around the back. EMP gonna be coming in and soon is hacked, so cannot counter EMP. Mortality field does come down, but Sato just goes ahead and focus fires that one. Soon gets taken out by the rocket punch. Vinci manages to find one. That might be as good as it gets here for this push. Now the primal range gonna be invested. Bionate is there on Sato, but the damage is just so lacking at the moment. For the side of the Paris Eternal, there's nothing they can do to stop Sato. Can't take him down. He joins Cloudy Falls. The cart continues to advance. The aggressive play. Do, but this could come back to bite them. Blizzard gonna be coming through. Oh, gonna be frozen up. The EMP is in. Hack there onto Carpe means that he will go down. The whole hog comes out from Finzi. The res is there. Coco now, EQO gonna be finished off. Still trading up or the Paris Eternal looking to gain control of this cart here right at the final stretch. Seems like they just might be able to do so as Neptuno will get finished off. Neptuno gets another kill on his way out, but high ground goes back to Paris Eternal. It's a very risky fight. He's now there from Boombox, will be able to top him up. Shadowburn gets forced into the ice block. Now gonna try to make it behind that barrier. Manages to do so though. They wall him off, but he keeps himself safe with the wall of his own. Heals coming in, but Sato was cut off, so Boombox can't offer up any healing to him. He does get taken down. Now Poco gonna be knocked out of the back. Using a miracle, it would seem, at this point for the Philadelphia Fusion to actually make this one happen. Boombox does manage to find one. Neptuno is still alive. It's really just both of these supports and the Bay. The whole hog coming out now for Vinci just to shove them off the cart. He manages to do so. And that is where it will stop. There's a turtle. A real chance. Dark just gonna be spammed in. Yeah, Matrix comes through and instantly Gray makes Sato disappear. Now Poco gonna be gone, but just like that, the answer back onto the enemy tank line. Two for three exchange here. The Paris Eternal looking good, but then Cruz gets taken down by the Dragon Strike and now soon eliminated. Kiro catching him as soon as he comes into the cafe. Then will be sent here for Gray as the Nano Boost gets tossed in. Patiently waiting. Nothing that Shadow Bird can do. Need to capitalize on this correctly. Well, that's gonna be Sato. Taken down at the start. Poco uses the whole hog, pushing them into the back alley. We'll just wait for that one to expire. They wall him off, trying to deny any heals from the flank. Shadow Bird. Pushing forward, still holding on to the blizzard. Can he actually just keep this one in his back pocket? They are ticking up onto A. The box over at the top here. Sato rejoins with that wrecking ball. Carpe's at the back. He is anti. He will get taken down. Gray manages to find that shot. Moving that one through the doorway. It's the kill. Cap nearly there for Paris on A. Now the Blizzard's gonna be used. Ogo gets the pull in, but frozen just moments before. He can try to get a kill on the soon. That will be the closeout on A. A second lease on life here for the Paris Eternal. Be able to for a Blizzard. Cloudy's well, trying to make his way out of there. Hook not gonna have the connection, but Mortality Field does buy him enough time to actually survive. Poco trying to escape. Can't do so as the Blizzard comes in from Shadow Blizzard. Bird. Raising them up, they push it behind the barrier. Getting the kills to come in. Immortality Field finds a little bit more time, but Vinci gets rid of that one with a whole hog. They clean them up. Four members currently gone inside the Philly Fusion. That Soon. card pushing up. 18 Soon. seconds left. He needs to get on the high ground. He needs to pop off here on the window. He's actually just going to look for the shots here from the ground into the choke. He's Nothing. playing low. Well. Nothing yet. He sees the swap there from Carpe. Comes around the corner, misses the first shot, but it doesn't matter. No one can make it over. They get walled off. Paris Eternal actually keep their hopes alive. They make it there right at the end before OT. They put a map on the board. Heroic Blizzard there from Shadowburn, getting everyone caught in that choke point, forcing them back. Changing it up. Just there from Carpe, just avoiding getting halted in. Soon trying to go in for the flank. Carpe is up above him and takes him down. And goes straight back in, follows up for a shot on the cruise. Now Cloudy. And this is Carpe 
just doing Carpe things. It feels like Carpe is starting to get back into his stride with Widowmaker right now. Uh, you know, everyone remembers that. Oh, he needs to get those headshots. If he trying to stay alive, now gonna be walled off the hook. Not connecting here on an EQO. He'll get frozen up again. They're trying to finish off that immortality field. Are able to do so. Makes his way in behind the barrier. Now the blizzard comes in, so EQO has to use the ice block. Another headshot. alive. Soon finds Carpe. Now Poco gonna be gone. Looking for a little bit more. Gets to think they're on to Sato. Vinci has the alley-oop as they finish him off. Matt will be the wipe coming through. In that high ground position, as soon as he gets here, right, he's able to pop off. Now, when well, he gets the opening kill here onto Carpe, there's no one to challenge. Headshots on frozen targets. You're gonna poke your head out, you're dead. So, get a few points. Vinci just got holding onto his hook. He wasn't gonna be able to find anybody, but they find him! Melted again, no chance to stay alive, and now Cruz is taken down by Carpe. Jump up over the top, tagged twice by Soon, still going for the fight, but Soon says not. Nah, not a chance. Raise him down with a left flick. Blizzard is out here on the car. Behind him, QL still trying to play forward. They managed to find Poco, and Boombox is gone with that transcendence available. Barrier is up. Soon looking for the shot. They get pulled back down here onto the low ground. If the ice block goes EQL, playing in behind that barrier, trying to stay alive. Will get broken down. Sato eliminated. Now QO gone. It seems like the Paris Eternal will, in fact, be able to push forward into point A, bumping up that time again. It's just like rolling at the moment for Soon. Gotta pick your battles if you're fusion here. And I don't know if this is the one they want to take on these choke points, but Soon has high ground and they're just fishing a barrel for him. I think it might be time to just back off. They're going to look for one more fight. Don't bring around the Rosie being played here by Sato, but. He is, uh, yeah, they all fall down at the end. Yeah. When you're in this position as the defending team, often, in Fusion in this case, often you want to just back off and try to get sightline advantage on the other side of the door. Trying to create some picks. Hook going forward. Bionate there on the Poco. Freeze him for good measure. To finish him off. Cruz! He's trying to apply pressure to a Widow with the Infrasight. And, uh, just gets punished for that. Nice sleep dot, however. Will come through from Gray and set up for Finzi to come around with the play. So Carpe knew he couldn't control high ground because of the contest they attempted and they lost it. So he decided to flank instead. Gets a kill, but dies, obviously, as soon as Paris Eternal react to this. Watching that right side spawn exit. Like that, the angle onto the monster, but actually does manage to find him in the end. So Carpe gonna be taken down. Sato now eliminated as well as his supercharger. And Matrix is thrown down. Poco pushes his way back through, but he just takes so much damage. Nothing to be done. They're trying to keep him alive. A whole no lot of good measure there. Finzi, they will be able to finish the map. Route 66 completed for the Paris Eternal. Play back against the Zinyana. Oh, Poco just gonna be melted down. Bionade on the two. Now Carpe gonna be taking a nap. Soon will be able to find that kill on the Sato. Putting himself way far ahead of Carpe's hole as that Dragon Strike charge is concerned. See if the trance pays uh, off with another bio. Yep, bio on the two. Get the sleep on him the final, but soon gonna be taking down M2. Now Fitzy takes a breather to try to stay alive, going lower and lower, and he's just on the edge of that barrier. Can't quite get across the threshold. Will be taken down, but QO lost in the fight. Break gonna be going, however, Poco the Dragon is one back. They'll have those faster run backs as well here for themselves. Carpe. A ring low, but soon now going to be taken down in that back flank. The mortality field cleaned up. That will be the effective wipe coming in for the Philadelphia Fusion, but so much time has been taken away from the time bank here. We disrupt on that high ground. Carpe still safe in the back, has this window, gets the shot on the Cruz. As soon as that immortality field is gone, now Dragon Strike going to be tossed out into the other side of Big Earls. Offers up a lot of damage, hoping to break down that front line. Another really link of wipe there for the fusion. They will be able to glide through a little bit more time. Bought on the other side, EQO. Taking bomb shots with those right clicks, trying to take him down, but he's gonna get hooked for Makes his way into the ice block. Instantly out, now dumps the blizzard through. EQO will get finished off, but not before he gets that blizzard in to take down Shadowburn. Setting up for the rest of the kills. 45 seconds remain here for the fusion. As they keep inching closer and closer to the finish here on B. Cloudy just six percent away. Charger early. Kettlebird gonna be taken down. Now Cloudy. Poco sets it up. He comes up with two kills. Absolutely huge. He's looking for another one. Soon plays forward. Poco will cut him down. He uses the blizzard. He's looking for the freezes. Poco gonna be slept frozen. Just over here onto the side. Makes a breather trying to stay alive, but Cloudy is there. Burns him down. Thirty seconds remaining. Fusion. Back, they find one on the cruise. Do they keep playing forward? Or do they just go for the reset? It seems like it's still gonna play up, and now the Hulk comes in the barrier. Gonna be denying a lot of the damage coming in, and Vinci has to hide behind the cart to keep himself alive. Shadowburn rejoining with that Doomfist. Gonna be taken down. Vinci finds the hook on the boombox, eliminates the Zenyatta, but then is finished off by Sato. 
Now coming up from Ichiwo, looking to freeze on the cruise. Will be able to finish him off. Wasn't quite in that immortality field. Now the blizzard's thrown down here into the cart. Into the ice block goes Ichiwo, trying to stay alive. Cloudy is there on the cart, trying to keep this one contested. Ichiwo going to be finished off. They're starting to stabilize here, Achilles. Punches there, he knocks him away. Boombox trying to come back in with a Moira. We're going to be taken down, just doesn't stand a chance. The Dragon Slick rolls through, but it doesn't matter. No one can tag in. The Paras Eternal hold them off. They tie us up two to two. We are going to one more map. One more map, and it's just the way it goes with Philadelphia Fusion, it feels like. So many game vibes, so many final tiebreakers here. Okay, we'll get hounded down, but he has that one on the line. Well, does get finished off over. Cruz coming up with a kill. Now Sano gonna be finished off. Poco knocks out of the mech, and this is a fantastic start to the defense here for the Paris Eternal. We'll get the freeze up here on the Poco. Just with them those waves. Slowing. Yep. Now the sleep. This is just Some, so much uh, free percentage. You know. Yeah, there, this will be a delay. Supercharger set up so they can break the barrier. Well, soon gonna be taken down. Now the death block up instantly there. From Carpe, Bionate connects on the three. Those are thrown in as well. Shadowburn's still gonna be eliminated. Cloudy behind the barrier. We'll just get advanced on. Clean him up. Sleep on to Ichiwo is great. Tries to get something down to the back line. Tries to find one pick. They will get above 75%. No, 80. So, decent delays here for the side of Paris Eternal. They have time on their side, if nothing else. Three stagger attempts. It's Finzi, it's Cruz, and then it's Soon. And then you can see Shadowburn's coming in with the Ice Wall and the Ice Block. Close as you can. They should get this up to about 95, worst case scenario. Trying to push forward, 50% there. Soon's gonna be receiving. Nana Boost here, but he's looking for a target. Finally makes his way back over here, fights Poco, knocks him out of the back. Wizard gonna be thrown down, but no one killed off on the side of the Paris Eternal. They're actually still holding on. Cruz comes up with two kills, takes out EQO. Now Carpe, the damage dealers on the side of the fusion out of the fight. The Bionade is forward onto Neptuno. Can they clean him up? Yes, they can. The sleep there onto the baby diva. They finish him off. Now they just have to gate them off the point. Ichiwo is here on the Doomfist. He's gonna have to touch. Such a risky decision to contest there with Ooh. the sound barrier, but they commit it, and that's gonna be it. That's gonna lock this round up. There's no way to contest. Beautiful play from Paris. The momentum is absolutely on their side right now. On a solid ground, Paul follows off the side of the map. Bolt coming through, freeze there on to Poco, trying to get rid of that D-Matrix, are unable to do so. Now Shadowburn gonna be taken down. Coalesce is just not quite enough. Sound barriers in. For both of these squads, but it's gonna be Carpe coming up for the next kill as soon gets taken down, then follows up for a double on the Cloudy A triple onto Gray. With Vinci getting knocked out of the mech. That will be the cleanup, and that's gonna be the first lockdown of the point. Coming in soon, trying to find a pick, but that's Matrix is gonna be there for Poco. Blizzard now gonna be invested as well by Shadowburn, but he's gonna be taken down. Answering Death Blossom is there from Carpe. Comes up with two. Sato going to be eliminated, but might just be the end of it here for this push. Paris Eternals coalesce and stack in on top of it as well. Carpe will get taken down to the death boss up there from soon. Managing to find one pick, but they need so much more than that. They need to get this cap, and they need to hold it all the way to 100%. They have not gotten on the board yet. In this round, Night Market has not been kind to Paris Eternal as far. Sato gonna be taken out. Cloudy dropping back down. He's pushed on. He's trying to dance around the barrier to try to stay alive so far. Is he able to do so, but it's a sliver of HP and the Blizzard is rolling. He'll get finished off. It seems like this will be 100 to 0. Philly Fusion taking us to one final round. As always, in game five. Get down by Carpe yet again. He's having none of that nonsense. Nano's out, he has to commit. Nano's thrown down, he's pushing forward, sees the D-Matrix use. Now it's gonna be dropping the barrage, zones them back. Remember, the point has not been capped yet. Gets the boot back and it's Poco take it down, Shadowburn! He sets it up, the cap is in for the Paris Eternal. I mean, that was such a bad situation for him. Not only was the D-Matrix there, he was nanoed for so long, he didn't even get the full duration on his ultimate, but the fusion stepped back. Had they captured the point, as you mentioned, it wasn't locked. Had they captured it, it would have been so great for them, they would have just used the wall, but they had to tag back in. Just looking for an angle, pushes around the side. A couple shots into Shadow Burn, but in the meantime, Bootbox has been eliminated. Sound Barrier is still going to be used by the Villain of Confusion as they look for this flip at 16% of the board. Right now, for the Paris Eternal, as Grey will get taken down. Sets up a very nice bio nade. Cruz comes back in, gets the res. Carpe caught, now Sato eliminated. Soon on that Reaper, Nano coming in. Taking them down. They barely used anything. They used support ultimates here. And the lesson fight. starts from Boombox. Soon he's flanking. Bionic connects on the four. Carpe just managed to find Shadowburn, but soon is there. He's got the death blossom. He takes down two. Carpe finally finds the kill. The buzzer comes in from EQO. He's got a sliver of HP. Shadowburn is taking a nap. The bomb comes in. Looking for a pick, but Poco isn't going to be able to find anything. Shadowburn 
with a sliver of HP. The OT dwindling away. Carpe, he rolls in, but he rolls to his death. OT ticks down. They can't make it in time. And the Paris Eternal pull off a reverse sweep to keep their playoff hopes alive. The desk shakes as Cruz shows his emotions here on stage. They bring the reverse sweep in. They keep the chances alive. And we saw a little bit of everything from Paris. We saw Shadowburn's legendary far to help close things out. All right, well, he already took down the Eastern Quarry, so in Carpe <laughs> today, but soon will be our player of the match presented by Omen by HP. I mean, Shadowburn, especially on the far at the end, fantastic, but soon throughout the series was just very clutch for the Paris Eternal in engineering that reverse sweep. Uh, he certainly was, especially when you look at Route 66, where he's able to accomplish things that shouldn't be done, that shouldn't be possible on Route 66, and challenging Carpe in a few 1v1 duels that set up for multiple kills. You know, special shout outs to Gray as well, who was a big difference maker on the Ana because he was the difference in that mirror composition. He was hitting Bionates left and right, and he made a huge impact too. Paris as a whole played great today. Soon, player of the match with just absolute carry potential. Fantastically done from him. Well-deserved victory for both him and the Paris Eternal, keeping those hopes alive.